Tom. You've been back out on the grass for the last few weeks. How are things for you at the moment? Yeah, it's been brilliant. I've missed it so much and uh, it's been so frustrating watching from the outside and uh, and yeah, just having to sit in there and, and not be able to do anything. So to now be out is, is, is brilliant, yeah. What kind of drills and exercises are you allowed to do at the minute? Are you back in full contact training yet? Yeah, so I was with the physios and sports scientists for a few weeks uh, and then now I'm just back training now. So yeah, the shackles are off and I can uh, get back to it, yeah. Must have been a tough few months for you. What's kind of kept you motivated? Because I know you've you've done this before, I guess. If yeah, um, yeah, it's been really tough. Um, it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been as long as what it was um, for for a few different reasons, um, which which was frustrating in itself. Um, but it's just sort of seeing seeing the lads and and wanting to help. Um, that's there's, like it's been burning inside, like watching and not being able, not being able to do anything. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to get back as quick as I can so I can help the boys and, uh, and play my part, yeah. Slowly but surely that injury room's getting emptier. Hopefully we can slowly put this behind us and full credit to the staff who've been looking after you over this tricky time for you. Yeah, definitely. Ollie Harrington especially has been with me since the, since the start of my injury and really helped me a lot in the, uh, in the gym and stuff. Um, but, yeah, we need to start actually putting it into, into practice now because the lads are coming back and we need to start sort of getting results and uh, sort of showing that we, we're good enough to, yeah. And in your absence, a few players have had to deputise in the position you might have been occupying, the likes of Josh and Yids have, you know, had to make some sacrifices for the team. What have you made of their sort of contributions? Yeah, they've done really well. It's, it's always hard filling in in a different position. I know that from last season, um, but they've done really well. They're professional lads. They'll always give 100% and I think they've done that. Um, but yeah, it's just about now. Now we got lads back. We need to start actually sort of. It's all well and good saying we, like we need the lads back, but once they come back, we need to start producing. Yeah. And 100. And similarly, from an academy point of view, it's given opportunities to Ethan, Tyrell, Dayan. I guess you'll know how important that is for them, having been in their position a few years ago. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, you never know when your opportunity is going to come, and sometimes it comes in in odd circumstances. Um, but I think they've done really well, although the, the team obviously hasn't been getting the results we've, we've wanted. It's always going to be a bit harder for them to sort of be dropped into that. But I think um, that sort of experience will, will sort of be invaluable to them in the future. Yeah. And when Morrow came through 90 minutes a couple of weeks ago, we spoke to him. He said there was a kind of an extra motivation after being out for so long, sort of a fire burning away to remind everyone what you're about. I guess you've got that as well. Oh, 100 percent. Me and Morrow have had a, had a few months in the gym together and and we're both, we were both so frustrated at the time and I think that just builds up and I've always thought when I come back from injuries you're always a bit sort of hungrier and uh, more motivated and uh, you come in sort of with a fresh mind as well which I think will, will help a lot, yeah. And you've been st stuck, I don't know whether you know it, on 49 appearances for quite a while so when you do come back it'll be a nice landmark 50th appearance and I'm sure you're really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that has been in the back of my head a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to sort of get as many games as, as I can now and uh, and start winning games, yeah. And as someone who, you know, if you weren't a player, you might be in the away on, on Saturday, for example, it must be, you must share the fans' frustration, but you'll be confident as a player that, you know, results do turn. Oh, definitely. I fully understand the fans' frustrations at the minute. And uh, I know what it's like when you're watching a team who, obviously, we're not performing to, to our maximum, which... Uh, we all know and uh, we're all working so hard to fix that and uh, make that better but they've obviously been fantastic their support through all the games throughout the season has been top draw and uh, that really does motivate us and push us and uh, I think everyone's pulling in the right direction and that's I think all we can ask for really yeah and you've been in the away end when we were back at Fulham back in September but I'm sure you'll be even more excited to hopefully be you know, actually in with the team rather than in with the fans. Oh, definitely, yeah. Although the the atmosphere is good in the in the away end, I'd much rather be on the pitch or uh, in the squad, yeah. And then finally, what's kind of next for you? What are you hoping to achieve in the next week or so? Um, just get some good training in my legs and and hopefully be in the squads in the next in the next week or so. Um, there's well, we may have a few friendlies I think for the break, so maybe get some minutes there and uh, just build up and get ready to to be back firing, yeah.